has been going on for ages. And we still never heard a single thing about what they're up to. <laughs> the acting grandmaster is very gracious in her appraisal. Varka brought quite a bit of trouble to those around him on the road to becoming a legend. I'll have to tell you about it sometime. Anyway, since this has piqued your interest, why don't you join me at headquarters? And we'll see what the letter says. We do miss our honorary night, after all. It's been quite a long time since your last visit. Sure! Let's go and see what it's all about. Bye, Catherine! See you soon! All right. Take care now.
Hmm. It looks like just about everyone's here. Hey there, cutie. Paimon. I didn't know you two would be coming. So you heard about the letter? Yep. We ran into Kaya near the Adventurer's Guild. Oh, wow. Paimon's never seen so many people in the main hall at once before. Oh, Paimon's getting kind of nervous now. <laughs> Don't get too carried away, all right? If I know the Grand Master, the fact that he has the time to be writing letters means it's probably nothing serious. It's certain- Kaya's exaggerating a little, but otherwise I agree. After all, Mika's not the kind of person who'd be able to keep it hidden if something were the matter. The truth would be written all over his face. Over there, look. The kid standing next to Jean in front of the staircase? He used to be a land surveyor in Eula's team. He's very talented in what he does, and a very reliable person. When the expedition team set out, the Grand Master appointed him to be the core member of the frontline team. He's the one that brought back the letter. Please, may I have your attention, everyone? Now that we're all here, let's begin reading out the letter from the Grand Master. <clears throat> Mika, please, go ahead. Y-yes, Master Jean. Uh, right. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. I am Mika, surveyor of the Reconnaissance Company. Uh, recently, I have been taking part in an assignment with the expedition team. I will now be reading Grandmaster Varka's letter aloud for you all. <clears throat> to the Knights of Favonius. Greetings, everyone. This is Varka. The first thing I want to say to you all is please put your minds at ease. The expedition is safe, and all of its members are accounted for. Oh, well, that's fantastic news. <sighs> My palms are sweating. <sighs> um, may I continue? Go ahead, Mika. All right. Now that your fears are allayed, I trust you'll be ready to listen to the rest of my letter. I'm writing to you from the northernmost reaches of Tevat by the light of a stove. The expedition forces are stationed here while we restock. I once told you that the purpose of this expedition was related to a dangerous secret from days long past. I am still unable to disclose more than this, but suffice to say that you needn't worry about how our mission is progressing. In the past couple of months, we received an unexpected visitor. The Fatui Harbinger known as the Captain. Uh... The captain? I am fully aware of the Fatui's outrageous actions in Mondstadt in recent history. Nevertheless, the captain was not hostile towards us on this occasion. Open parenthesis. I rather suspect that's because this time, Snezhnaya and we are in the same boat. Close parenthesis. The man hides everything under the mask he wears so no one can know his past or his origins. However, one thing is for sure. He is as hard as iron for having the courage to challenge gods as an ordinary mortal. I don't doubt that he could even take out a ruin guard by stabbing it in its big, glowing eye with one of Klee's crayons. Open parenthesis, don't get any ideas. Close parenthesis. Our scouts have confirmed that the captain received orders to head for Natlon three days ago. We'll be able to sleep much better now that we don't need to worry about him anymore. I will admit that some of his actions have helped us, but even then he owed us at least that much. 
This year's Vine Laser Fest must be kicking off in Mondstadt any day now. What a great pity that this year, once again, we will be unable to spend the festival together. Everyone here is always thinking back fondly upon the fine wines of Mondstadt, as well as the happy times we have spent with each and every one of you. I hope that you and all the citizens of Mondstadt enjoy the festival to the fullest. Have a few drinks on our behalf. The Dawn Winery's limited edition Vine Laser Fest seasonal special will do nicely. May Lord Barbados bless Mondstadt, and may the wind carry our sentiments back to your side. Varka. P.S. If you're wondering who's tougher between me and the captain, well, I'm the Grand Master.